it's great to be here in Glasgow today playing. Uh, I'm not just playing golf, I'm back playing soccer as well. I've done everything my whole life right, training, playing sport, and then for me to suffer a, a cardiac arrest at 25 years of age, just doesn't feel, uh, I feel outdone by a little bit, of, exactly. I was playing soccer, Gaelic, um, in the college as well, so I was training there five, six nights a week, including matches. So I was fit and healthy, I never really felt different to anyone else, you know, I was still still training, not living a normal healthy life, I didn't think that I would ever suffer a cardiac arrest or have any heart issues. But when I actually got home, it was the house was still busy for a week or two after the cardiac arrest, people called in to visit, so I didn't really get to think about it. So I'd say around three to four weeks after, uh, I was literally just sitting at home by myself and I was thinking, Jesus, I'm actually after suffering a major thing here. This is a life changing situation for myself. Regarding sleepless nights, I was actually terrified to go to sleep in case I wouldn't wake up. It was that whole feeling of drifting off and just not feeling great, you know, it was, it was a tough journey, but um, I'm starting to overcome it now. Yeah, I do see it a lot now. Maybe because I'm uh, more interested in the situation. You can see, like, nearly every week there's someone, there's a survival or there's a or there's a tragedy of someone, you know, passing away from this. Uh, and it seems to be happening at younger age all of a sudden as well. So we don't know what the cause is. Is it happening more often or is it just more public via Facebook and stuff? Or are we just all hearing about it a bit more? Uh, but definitely I am noticing a lot more of it. And take a more interest in it. There was no car cardiac rehab for me because I suffered a cardiac arrest, not a heart attack. My whole argument was that uh, I just wanted to gain a little bit of confidence again. I'm after going through a, a life changing experience, and um, that wasn't offered. So basically, any of the training or anything I did after was all down to myself. Uh, to be nearly looking at me, nearly terrified that I, I'm, I'm going to collapse again, but. Uh, I can guarantee you I'm nearly fairer than most people out there at the moment. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a big one. I do have a lot of people saying to me, oh, you're the lad that had a heart attack. And I'd say, no, no, I had a cardiac arrest. They'd be like, oh, sure, they're the same thing. My simple way of explaining it is that a cardiac arrest is an electrician's job. A heart attack is a plumber's job. <laughs> if, I'm out and, if I'm out having a, a drink or anything, you'd have people coming up to me, yeah. Uh, should you be should you be drinking? I'd be looking at them and saying, well, why shouldn't I? I'm, I'm entitled to drink as much as anyone else, you know. With proportion, like, you know, I I enjoy my drink, I'll eat right, I'll, I'll have my chipper, you know, I'm living life normal. Um, what help is out there for them? I see minimum at the moment. Um, I've met a lot of families now over the country where they've read stories about me back playing sport and stuff and the main question is how are you doing it and my child can't I think they're just just a bit scared to go out and explore like you know after suffering an arrest or being, di being diagnosed with cardiomyopathy or something it is a scary issue with parents you know and they're not, I don't think they're being leaving hospitals confident that their child will be okay you know that they are allowed to do a certain amount of exercise in a safe environment just like myself I'm, I'm back playing sport but I'm not playing to the full extent I'd like that you know I'm playing clever now, you know, if I listen to my body, if I feel tired, or if I get dizzy, you know, from doing a bit of running, I will sit down and relax and say, no, that's enough for today. You can follow my story on Sports Talk. I'm doing documents there on my life after cardiac arrest.